Welcome to the Spirited Shop. Today I will be giving a Blender crash course on animation. It will be precise and go over the absolute basics of how to animate in Blender. With that, let's get to it. Let's begin with the opening view of Blender which consists of a basic box. We will use this for our animation. The first thing we must do is enter into animation mode from the menu. In this view, you will see the camera view on the left and the modeling view on the right. Knowing this, when it comes to animation, you can either move the object or the camera or both. For this demo, we will move the object. Let me turn on the key capture so you can see what I am pressing at the bottom right. Down at the bottom, you will see the animation timeline in frames. It is here where much work will be done. On the right side, select the Output Properties menu and let's change the number of frames in this animation to 50, about 2 seconds. You will see on the timeline it reflects this change. To start in the modeling view, let's change the viewport to the top view by selecting 1 on the number pad. We want our animation to move from the left, so let's grab the object with a G and constrain it to the X axis by immediately clicking X. Move it left until it is out of view of the camera. Now that it is out of view of the camera, we will select the object in the object view screen and press the I key in order to bring up an insert menu and we will insert a keyframe. From this menu, you can lock in all kind of attributes to the object at this point on the timeline. We will select location. Notice how it placed indicators at this point on the timeline for this object. If you expand the object, it will show that it has locked in this position at this point in time. Now let's move the timeline to the end of the animation at frame 50. Now grab and move the object to its final spot in the animation. Click I and lock in the location for this frame. If you play it, you will see Blender has interpolated the position between these two keyframes of the animation. You will see your animation in the camera view. If you want to render the animation, it would make a video of what the camera view sees at this point. Let's add a little more to this animation first. Select the start of the animation on the timeline. Click the object and hit I and lock in the rotation of the object at this point. Hitting the drop down of the object will confirm the additions of the rotation keyframes. Now let's go to the end of the animation and click in and bring up the item view. Here we are going to manually change the rotation around the Z to 360 degrees. Hide the menu within and select the object and press I and lock in the rotation keyframe at this point. Let's play it and see how it looks. You can drag the timeline marker and see the animation frame by frame. Looking good so far. Now let's get back to the output properties and make sure we have the correct output selected. Select a directory where you want to output the file and be sure and be sure to select the FFmpeg format with a H264 codec selected.
From here, we go to the Render menu and select Render Animation and wait. Here is a render of this tutorial. It is very basic and will get you animating. With that, I hope you enjoyed learning something. Please subscribe, and as always, friends, God bless, and until next time.